Yeah, son shit, y'all ready? I hope y'all are. This episode, this is a different episode. This is a special episode. This is something different. You know, not really. We do stuff like this where we don't give you the music, um, the Black History Moment from the Mix Show. We do stuff like that. But this is completely different. Thursday, yesterday. And that's how we're going to do this. This is Friday. We're going to try to put the speed on this and get this out here the same day. Yesterday, the world found out that O.J. Simpson had passed. Crazy. And it happened Wednesday. The news broke yesterday. Before I go any further and say all that, rest in peace to DJ Mr. C. Um, Hip-hop legend, DJ legend, worked with Big Daddy Kane, Big, was a major joint. Had a, had a thing on Hot 97 for about two years where it was Black Fist Friday during February. There were guest DJs coming in and doing their thing. Um, Jazzy Jeff, Clark Kent, Kid Capri, Marley Mall, just do um Quest Love at one point. All of that was dope. Getting back to this OJ thing. The reason I was like, yo, I gotta do something like this for OJ. Salute to Caitlyn Jenner. Hands down, the number one reason I was like, yo, I gotta do this. She tweeted or exited, I don't know how you tweet it is what we're gonna go with right she tweeted good riddance i saw the post via willie d's page and willie d was like yo that was a heterosexual who had said that it'd be all kind of flack my response and i stand on that response is that has nothing to do with transsexuals homosexuals heterosexuals that is whiteness at its best. That is white anger at its best. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, he's about to make this racial, it's always been racial. It's been racial since 1994. There has been generations, groups of white people who have hated OJ, not even because he killed two white people, but because he got away with it. Like if you're not related to Nicole Brown or um, I can't even think of old boy name, if you're not close friends with them, if you're not neighbors of them, how would you take that? How would you, why are you so offended? But there's a population of people who are, you know what I'm saying? Good riddance was, was, was applauded. There was some backlash here and there, but for the most part, it was applauded. Good riddance. A man got accused of murdering, got off. He was acquitted. There are people right now who have committed murder. We know they've committed murder and we're good. So what makes their situation of not being convicted better than OJ's? The victims, the fiasco, the, 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 the paparazzi, the eyes, the spectacle, the circus of his court procedure is what makes that different. You know what I'm saying? The fact that as when he got off, black people celebrated, black people cheered, black people who ride, black people championed this man. At the end of the day, it's not even a battle being black. It was a rich man who had a team of lawyers. He had a he literally had a whole band behind him. You know what I'm saying? It looked like Earth, Wind and Fire. No, take that back because Earth, Wind and Fire is black. It looked like, like what, 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 what's a band I can, Heat Wave. Let's go with Heat Wave. It looked like Heat Wave. It looked like Jimi Hendrix. You just saw a bunch of white dudes and a black guy. This was his band. They was about to rock. You know what I'm saying? Boogie Nights. That was it. He had a team. Like, he had a team. You know what I'm saying? They had enough people to start at least a good 4-on-4 basketball game, including OJ. There was a group. That was a group effort. He didn't get off because he was black. He got off because he was rich. Rich people ain't upset that much. Some are. Not, not many. The man did what he did. 
And I get it, he taunted everybody. Then he got locked up for something stupid. He still was out here with white women. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was still OJing. But to say good riddance, we, we're wilding out right now. You know what I'm saying? Good riddance? The lady who got the young woman at the time who got Emmett Tilled killed admitted she lied. His death is on her hands via a lie. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's running around good riddance. The people who killed Emmett Tilled got off. Nobody was out here looking these dudes up trying to... Nobody's blaming these... No, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no... Yo, I hope y'all burn in hell. Nah. It was a... Ah. The cops. Various cops. We can go through a list of names who have killed unarmed people. If they die tomorrow... How dare somebody say good riddance? How dare we say good riddance? So in my mind, I'm like, yo, let's talk about OJ. OJ is a man who was born in San Francisco. Here's a crazy piece of, of wildness. So when you go to um, OJ's um, Wikipedia page, don't know what this has to do with anything, but they let you know his dad was gay and was a crossdresser. How do we, like, that's, we're defaming people no matter what. Like, what his dad's personal joint got to do with him? They talk about his mom, they talk about his dad, which is how that usually works. But to go out your way and go, he worked at the bank, he worked at the um, Federal Reserve as a custodian. Like, that sounds like maybe there should be a different story going somewhere in that. Craziness. This is what you get out of that. Now, for those who do know, he was a Heisman winner. He was the first overall pick by the Bills in 1969. He received five consecutive Pro Bowls. First team All Pro Bowl section selection. First team All Pro Pro um, selection from 72 to 76. He led the league in rushing yards four times. You know what I'm saying? Rushing touchdowns twice. This is what we talking about. He was an MVP in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? This is the stuff that nobody brings up. My man had endorsements. He did joints with Dragnet. He did movies. He was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Like there was a gener like our generation, we knew OJ, OJ Nate by the name, OJ Simpson, OJ, you know what I mean? We knew him from the naked gun joints. We knew him from all that kind of stuff. Running in the commercials and, you know what I mean? 90s come around, he becomes famous for something totally different. Because he is accused of murdering his ex-wife and her boyfriend or boy toy. I don't know, don't care. Ron Goldman, right? I got the name Ron Goldman. And personally, this is me personally. I never, I, I'm going to say this and I've said this since I was a kid. He did it. But he didn't do it alone. When you hear the comedians talk about that stuff, when you actually get old enough and the internet started to show you the pictures, no one man was doing all of that by themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's just not true. No one man, like either he ordered it or he was part of it. But there's no way the damage that was done to those two people, one man could do it by himself without the other person running getting away screaming there's no way he was acquitted this is where it gets crazy because oj's world flipped upside down oj was still oj for a lot of people oj was still doing stuff oj was still out here hanging with a group of people who probably thought ill of him there was a time where they would like boycott and letting oj come to places like no no He's not allowed here. We're in a world, again, we know people who have murdered people. What's the difference? Like I said, I'm just stunned that as we talk about it, everybody's so decisive, so divisive. None of us was there. The police fumbled the ball. Supposedly, there was a witness who said there, 
that she knows there were other people that there was a something else that jumped off and they're like ah we don't want to hear that we want it to be oj supposedly that's the word that's the rumor that has always been floating around there was a witness nobody wanted to call like i said this man has taunted people if i did do it this is how i would do it i don't get it don't know it don't but he had still had a post trial life that was good he was still hanging out with white women his arms were not empty there's a bunch of pictures where he got a white girl on each arm like hey this oj and you're just inside going mm, he gonna kill you i'm not gonna lie me personally i'm still shocked that oj had groupie bras magic johnson had groupie bras i'm just like here's a guy that everybody thinks is a killer and here's a guy who has hiv Y'all just like, ooh. Those are people you kind of want to be like, hey, we can be cool. And I'm going to keep it pushing. Like, there's no way I'm letting you do anything with me. But that's why they groupie brides. Anyway, my man did what he did. He was still showing up to places, making appearances. As OJ going to parties, going to events with this cloud over his head. That again, many people have. Many people will speculate about. We good with those people. OJ is one of those moments that split this country in half. You were pro or you were anti, and it never stopped. People have raised their children to be anti-OJ. Right now, you can pull up 20-year-olds hating on OJ. You definitely weren't alive when this joint jumped off. What OJ do to you in your 20 years of life that made you go, I hate OJ? You weren't there 20 years ago. You're, tw you're 20. You're 15. You're 18. You're 20. 21, 22. You know what I'm saying? You, you barely remember 9-11. But you're really upset at this dude. Make it make sense. OJ was that dude for the NFL at one point. He was he was he was the standard bearer. You know what I'm saying? He was one of those dudes. And it's great to see that the NFL at some point started showing you slowly but surely inserting his face back in the mix. Because when you talk about great running backs, you can't ignore OJ. You can't. When you talk about athletes who had a great um, post career in acting or at least being a celebrity OJ name comes up OJ was doing his thing he was he was killing the game before that trial no pun intended that's all I'm saying how did we get here what what got us where somebody can go good riddance and there's a gang of love for that and everybody else is like, oh, word, that's what we're doing now? Good riddance is the way to go. Like, we've, we've now established a pulse for how we, we, people that we deem as evil. Good riddance. About time. Thought it would never happen. But that's just where we are right now. You know, this OJ should be one of those joints where you just go, uh. If you ain't feeling them, you go, uh. Alright. I want a fan. And you keep it pushing. There's not even a reason to post about him if you weren't a fan. But that's what we are now. We're that we're them with them people. They're people who follow people just because they don't like them. You're wasting your energy to watch them post stuff to hate them. Where what, what world are we living in? What was what are we doing? How is this acceptable? Why are we even... Somebody, please explain this to me. When, when, when did that become a thing? I want to engage with people I don't like on a regular basis. Purposely. This isn't like it's your job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to like your co-workers, but you're going to get that money. Like, you're going out of your way to, to put these people in the search joint search them out go ooh, that's him boom and then hate on them 
constantly. Who has no life like that? That's where we are as a society. When you say stuff like, good riddance, I'm glad he gone. Keep it to yourself. I mean, I get it. There's definitely going to be millions of people who feel the same way as you. The difference is, they, they lived through your post. They're living through Caitlyn Jenner's post. Now they're replying and making it and adding. Then they're being the plus ones and all that. To, and reposting that post. They didn't do it. Why? Because somebody that they personally know would go, dude, you did this for what? I'm just wondering. Man, that was corny. And keep it pushing. Because that's what it is. It's corny. I'm going to post this year. I'm going to show you all how much I don't. Man, don't nobody care. Not all black outlets even though we're like, Rest in peace, OJ. They posted it because it was news. OJ Simpson has passed. They're not going, oh my God, we love you, OJ. OJ, at the end of the day, OJ really wasn't getting that kind of love all the time. You know what I'm saying? The last time OJ was really famous amongst us was a few years ago when Jay-Z dropped, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. That was it. And we said that all, of, like, that was the line. That was the line we ran with. I'm not black, I'm OJ. Uh, okay. We loved it. That was the last time OJ was even popping for, for a whole community. That was it. That was our that was our OJ reference. We kept it pushing. The brother has, has done a lot. He's done a great deal of positive stuff on the field. He's done a great deal of positive stuff off the field. Again, before all of this. All of that is gone now. Rightfully so, because you're only going to be remembered for the last thing that people know you about. R. Kelly, if if God forbid anything happens to R. Kelly tomorrow, all we're going to know about R. Kelly's music is going to be secondary to why he's locked up. That's it. What's, 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 my, what's my man from House of Black? I mean, um, House of Cards, Kevin Spacey. God forbid he passes tomorrow. He was basically out of the game. He was canceled because of sexual misconduct. All the great work he's done, pushed to the side. That's what we do. That's what they tried to do with Kobe. Remember? Oprah's homegirl was up there trying to talk to Lisa Leslie. Like, yo, and what about the joints that was jumping off in Colorado? Did you really need to bring that up? That's what we do. This man is past. We get it. We understand. He was acquitted of murder. That he, I'm pretty sure, had a hand in. That's me. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I think he had a hand in. But we're not going to try to overlook the greatness of that he was on the NFL field. Put the football in this man's hand and it's on and popping. We're not gonna act like that ain't a thing. You know what I'm saying? Seen him doing his thing with uh, Mason Cam. Seemed like a great guy. They enjoyed the conversations. The conversations were interesting. This is the same guy. People have to move on sometimes. When your boy Zimmerman passes trust me there's going to be a gang of good riddance popping and there's going to be just as many people defending him there's going to be even more people trying to make this guy a hero for what he did to a young child who was walking home with some candy chips or whatever it was and and a drink in the rain with his hoodie on during an all-star weekend because we're divisive I know I know plenty of people who aren't going to just be like uh, I'm glad he's gone or uh, I'm not going to even build on that because no need to waste my time giving out negative energy no, no there's going to be people out there that's going to put their two cents in it and make it happen there's going to be people who are going to add their two cents and be like, boom, take that. And they're going to be a gang of people who are like, 
he'll be missed. He was a hero. Everything is weird sometimes. I don't even know what else to say about that. But OJ Simpson did a lot of great things. His, his family and friends were there with him during these last during his last hours. So that must mean even if he was bad or, or, or terrible, some forgiveness was given. And that was the family. The family whose mother was murdered. Who even if they were like, yeah, I think dad had something to do with it. They were there. The children were there. It didn't say, oh, they were even surrounded by nieces and nephews. They said his children were there. So if his children, if they thought that that's what daddy did, could forgive him and ride during those last moments, who are you to be good riddance never did nothing to me I didn't know neither one of those people personally I won't invest it I'm a kid 99% of us were not invested even the white people who are mad are not invested they didn't personally know either one of them they didn't know Nicole Brown Simpson or Goldman they didn't know neither one of them 99% of the people upset uh, and, and when you ask him, you ask him for what? Because he got away with murder. And then you just start listing off everybody who's ever gotten away with murder. Black, white, Native American, Latino, Asian. And you ask him, what's the difference between those murders and this murderer? Let's not play that game. I want to just thank y'all for listening. I just had, this is, like I said, this is this is a different kind of episode. I just needed to get this out of my system because it is heartbreaking to see that people are, people were holding hatred from 1994 to, 19, to 2024. 30 years. You were holding hatred for this man for doing something to two total strangers Maybe, maybe not for Caitlyn. Maybe Caitlyn probably knew Nicole Brown Simpson. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was over there hanging out with her while OJ was with his his girlfriend at the time. Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they were swinger partners. Who knows? I don't know. Don't care. But the fact that when you see all those reposts and the and the likes and the reply that 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 basically coincide with that with that with that um opinion and gesture, those people definitely didn't know her. Those people weren't hanging out in some of the same circles and parties and gatherings and get togethers. So for 30 years, those people, grown people, a lot of those are grown men and grown women in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Held on to that anger for 30 years. That's what made me go. I need to do. I got to get this out of my system because I'm, I'm, I'm lost on it. I can't understand the 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 rationale behind holding that kind of anger for someone that you don't know, for people that you don't know, people you've never met, interacted with, for a person you've never met or interacted with. And again, when they say, "Well, you know, it's because of what happened." I could throw many names out right now. I'm not. Because that's not the point. That is the point. That is the point. But what I'm saying is, I don't want to then have it be about those people as well. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear, oh, well, that's different. Because there's nothing different about murder. Murder is murder. If you killed someone, you've killed someone. Vehicular homicide. You were at a party and they were doing something and, and you pushed them and they fell over something and killed them and they, and, they, and they died it's all murder you get in an argument and you hit him in the head with something and you killed them accidental homicide it's all murder 
The basketball player um, who was playing around with a gun and shot the dude in the face still did time because it was murder. What makes those situations different from that? We're going to forgive these people, but not this guy. Because it was ingrained in our souls to not. It was ingrained in our souls that for some reason that was wrong. Completely, that is unforgivable. The man's dead now. And to sit around and still post negative stuff is like, yeah. Mm, y'all need hugs. Y'all need hugs. Hopefully y'all have a have a significant other y'all have children you have close friends somebody needs to just stop you take the phone out your hand get you away from the keyboards hug you and let you know that person didn't mean nothing to you at all the victims or the, or the accuser at all what are you doing I'm just man, no 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 stay held Calm down, let your heartbeat slow up. Breathe. Now sit down. Love and hate on something that is currently in progress. Leave the dead alone. Let them rest. That's all I'm saying. Thank y'all for listening. East Coast, West Coast, worldwide. Like I said, I just had to get that out of my system. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm lost on all of this For real And I'ma try my best To not be ignorant And post the picture where OJ's trying to glove on I'ma do my best To not post that as a picture But that goes with this I don't, you know what I'm saying I don't wanna uh, flame any Get anybody going I can't believe he did Then he's talking somewhat positive about them I know what he said He thinks that he did it But it was too much love given to him I hate you like I hate OJ Then you're gonna hate me forever And I won't, I did nothing But anyway Thank y'all for listening There's no show, there's no clips So we gotta do what we do when I When I exit my show that is to tell you they say you only live once that's a lie you only die once so anytime that your god allows you to get out here and continue your journey please 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 show the world the best version of you y'all be safe peace This is a solo art presentation. Tation, 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 tation.